OK, hi, so this is question seven on the GCSE Mathematics proof practice questions that you'll be able to download from the link below in the description. OK, and what it says is if 2n is always even for all positive integers of n, prove algebraically that the sum of the squares of any two consecutive even numbers. So that's the bit that's important. Consecutive even numbers is always a multiple of four. Well, let's look at that. So the two consecutive even numbers, consecutive even numbers, must be... 2n and 2n plus 2. Now, if you're not sure about that, then you might want to refer through to some of the earlier questions. These are a, a star grade, so they are quite tricky sometimes to, to get your head around to kind of understand what it is they're asking you to do. But 2n means that if I have a number, let's say 3, then it must be an even number because 2 times 3 is 6. Likewise, if I have a number like 8, then 2 times 8 is going to be 16. OK, so that must be an even number always. And 2n plus 2 is going to be the next one afterwards. So let's have a look at answering the question, the sum of their squares. So the sum means we're going to add the two terms together. So the sum of their squares... And that's going to be equal to 2n squared. And that's going to be plus 2n plus 2 all squared. OK, so let's just work that out. So 2n squared is fairly straightforward. It's going to be 4n squared. The next one is going to be 2n plus 2 squared. Well, I'm going to write that out as 2n plus 2 multiplied by 2n plus 2. And if I then multiply out those brackets, I end up with 4n squared here. And then here I've got 2n times 2n is also 4n squared plus 4n plus 4n is plus 8n plus 4. And again, if you're not sure about how to do that, then please do refer through to some of the earlier videos on multiplying out bracketed equations. OK. Um, let's just tie that up a little bit. I've got 4n squared plus 4n squared is 8n squared plus 8n plus 4. Now, um, I need to prove that it's always a multiple of 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factorise this equation and take 4 out. And I get left with 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. So therefore, what this is saying is that because I'm able to factorise 4 out, then it's going to be a multiple of 4. Multiple of 4. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. Please do have a look at the uh, questions on the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.